this session we will see about Bresenham's line drawing algorithm example. First, we, we need to get the input, the two line endpoint and store the left point endpoint in x0 and y0. Next, we can load x0, y0 into frame buffer, then plot. That, that means here we are going to plot x0, y0. This is the first point. Next, we can find the constant values del x, del y, 2 del y and 2 del y minus del x. Next, we can calculate the initial decision parameter. As P not equal to 2 del y minus del x. Right? At each k, along the line, at k equal to 0 perform the following operations if pk is less than 0 do the below operations then point plot plot the point x k plus 1 comma y k and P k plus 1 which is equal to P k plus 2 del y. This is nothing but a next decision parameter. Right. Next. Or else. Or else. You can plot. That means P k is greater than 0. Right. Here pk is less than 0, then you can plot the point xk plus 1 and yk. That means x is incremented by 1 and y is no change. So you can find the decision parameter by using this formula. pk plus 1 equal to pk plus 2 delta y. Otherwise pk is greater than 0, then plot xk plus 1 comma yk plus 1. That means here the x is incremented by 1 and y also incremented by 1. So the decision parameter for here is pk plus 1 equal to pk plus 2 del y minus 2 del s. So repeat step 4 until step 4 until del x times. That means del x times. Right. So that's all about the Resonance line drawing algorithm. So these are the two important formulas for generating the points. Initially we need to calculate P0. After that PK if compare PK, PK. If this PK is greater than 0 use this formula and plot this point. If PK is less than 0 Sorry, pk is less than 0, use these points and plot this. Uh, it means, if suppose, sorry, pk is less than 0, you can plot x, k plus 1 and y, k. If pk is greater than 0, you can plot x, k plus 1, comma, y, k plus 1. Right? Let us see the example. Right? So, points 20, comma, 10, 30, 18. Mute 30, 18. Right. So, you know, you are having two endpoints. Right. So, 20, 10 is x0, y0. Assume this is your x0, y0. This is your left endpoint. Right. Next, 30, 18 is the right endpoint. So, in between only the lines will appear. Right. So, assume this is 20, 10 and this one is 30, 18. So, we need to calculate the in between points. So, let us see this example. Calculate del x. So del x is nothing but 
x2 minus x1 here so you are or else x1 minus x0 whatever you, uh, we can keep next 30 comma 18 which is x1 y1 right so del x is nothing but the difference between this x and this x and similarly del y is nothing but y1 minus y0 right so del x is 30 minus 20 so 30 minus 20 which is nothing but 10 similarly del y equal to 18 minus 10 which is nothing but 8 next we need to calculate 2 delta y so 2 delta y equal to 2 into 8 which is nothing but 16 next 2 delta x equal to 2 into 10 which is nothing but 20 you can keep it like this next we need to calculate 2 delta y minus 2 delta x because our initial step is we need to calculate the endpoints. After that, you can plot that endpoints, first endpoint. Next, you can calculate your constant values del x, del y, 2 delta y, 2 delta y minus 2 delta x. Right? We calculated all these things 2 delta y equal to 16 minus 20, so minus 4. Next, calculate initial decision parameter initial decision parameter p naught equal to 2 delta y minus delta x simple delta x not 2 delta x so 2 delta y is nothing but 16 minus delta x is nothing but 10 so the initial decision parameter or the error variable is here 6 right so we need to plot the points with the help of this table. So for that we need k p k then x k plus 1 comma y k plus 1. So we need to fill here. So here k is nothing but this value. This is k right. So here k is 0 p k is 6 and xk plus 1 yk plus 1 is xk is 20 and yk is 10 so xk plus 1 is 21 and yk plus 1 is 11 so first step over next we need to calculate check whether pk is less than 0 or pk is greater than 0 check it so here pk is 6 so 6 is greater than 0 so you can use this formula right so pk plus 1 equal to pk plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x so here plot x k plus 1 comma y k plus 1 right so pk is nothing but p0 plus 1 equal to p0 plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x. So p1 equal to p0 is nothing but 6 plus 2 delta y is nothing but 2 delta y is 16 minus 20. Right? So 16 plus 6 22 minus 20 so p1 equal to 2 so we got the p1 now so now k is 1 and p1 is 2 and xk plus 1 now if your pk is greater than 0 then x and y is incremented by 1 so 22 comma 12 right next Next, you can calculate, check whether your P1 is greater than 0 or less than 0. Here, your P1 is greater than 0. So, you use this 
previous formula right so p2 equal to p1 plus 2 del y minus 2 del x so p2 equal to 2 plus 2 del y is 16 minus 20 p2 equal to minus 2 right so if p2 is minus 2 right then what you are going to do using this formula so p2 is that means p2 less than 0 right so we just increment x k plus 1 and keep y as what is the previous value for y 12 right so x is incremented by 1 and y not changed so p k is 2 and p k is minus 2 x is incremented by 23 comma 1 and y is no change next you can continue up to n number of steps right we have to repeat these steps until del x times So, so we got these points we got these points so here del, del x is 10 so I repeat the steps until del x right so we got these plotted points we need to plot this point initially 21 comma 11 21 comma 11 next 22 comma 12 next 22 comma 12 next one 23 comma 12 23 comma 12 next one 24 comma 13 24 comma 13 next one 25 comma 14 25 comma 14 next one 26 comma 15 26 comma 15 next 27 comma 16 27 comma 16 28 comma 16 28 comma 16 next 29 comma 17 29 comma 17 next 30 comma 18 30 comma 18 so this is the plotted line so for these two endpoints we got this line thank you